I'm here at the second rest day of the Giro d'Italia and whilst driving past on this main road next to this hotel, I saw all of these vehicles here from Team Sky. And quite frankly, I didn't have a clue why they had so many here. But apparently, each and every one plays an integral part in the teamwork behind the team here at the race. So let's take a closer look and see, basically, what each car and vehicle does. Now, first up, the Ford Transit van. Now, traditionally, I think, used by, well, delivery drivers, builders, that kind of thing, for transporting a large amount of equipment around. And whilst I take a look in the back of here, it's pretty empty. But during the race itself, the staff actually use it to transport luggage of all of the staff, as well as the riders, from hotel to hotel. So that when the riders eventually arrive there after the stage, their bags are waiting in the room, and same goes for the staff too. Now, before the race, all of the bikes are brought to the race inside of here using all of this racking that's been specially made for the van. And then after the whole race, all of the bikes will be put back in there and taken back to the service course before unloaded and put back on the racks there. There's also some air conditioning units in there and I think some cooking equipment too. Then of course we have in fact got the Team Sky bus, so the Team bus as we all know it. So, pretty large affair. Now this is a place where basically the riders get transported to and from stages, a place where they can chill out before the stage and after essentially recover as soon as possible for the next day's stage. So we've got showers in there, places to massage, everything like that, swivel seats so you can get your feet up and really just chill out with your fellow teammates before yeah, that gruelling next stage such as what we have here at the Giro d'Italia. So the team have also got a couple of these. These are Ford S-Maxes. So kind of, I think we call them people carriers in the UK or, I don't know, utility vehicles in the US perhaps. Um, so really they're used by chef and members of staff to basically run errands. So collect food, take people to and from the airports, that kind of thing. As well as it having a rack on the top as well. So you can transport bikes to and from events, that kind of thing. They are pretty spacious. And I'm hoping at least that uh, we can show you that. Oh, managed to get it open. So let's see what we've got. Well, there's actually a load of uh, Giro d'Italia Panini sticker albums here. Something I've wanted, something I have seen other people, and I've not had one of these, well, not had a sticker album since Mexico 86. So I'm gonna um, have a little look around and try and sneak one of those off. Right, let's see what other, let's see what other vehicles we can take a look at. See if I can swipe anything else. Now next up is this Ford Torneo, which is a vehicle used for a couple of different duties really. Uh, the main primary function is used by members of staff who are feeding riders in the feed zone. So they are gonna go from the start to that zone and then hand out the musettes before rushing off to the finish for the riders sometimes. And that sometimes incident happens where you can't fit the team bus on top of a mountain because maybe there's no parking up there or the roads are particularly narrow. Instead, they take this up there, which has got turbo trainers inside and also, and importantly, some extra warm clothing for those really cold summits. Let's have a look inside. So inside of here, certainly in this front compartment, we've got one, two, three Wahoo kickers that I can see so far, uh, a box here of recovery drinks, and also some spare clothing in there too, and a spare helmet. And there's also some more of those Panini stickers. I might try and grab a couple of packets of those. Wonder if they'll notice. So let's take a look in the rear and see what we've got stowed away. Ugh, it's quite a heavy old door, this. Well, we've got as ever, a big container of drinks. More of these Wahoo kickers, I've never seen so many. Uh, bags basically of that clothing for the extreme weather that you do get sometimes in Italy, even during the month of May at the Giro d'Italia. And then this is one of those extreme weather garments. I'm gonna try it on actually, see what it's like. Now, I've told, I've been told, sorry, this one has actually got a special feature, get this. Press that button down, it goes red, and the jacket warms up. How cool is that? Oh. Now 
Now this Ford Torneo is much the same as the other one, only it's only got two seats in the rear. And this one is really used for kind of the podium ceremonies. So if a rider is leading the race overall, generally they've got quite a few obligations after the stage. So they have press conferences, medical control, that kind of thing. And by the time all of that is finished, the team bus is normally long gone. And rather than go back in a team car, which a rider basically they can't stretch out as much, in this, with only having two seats in the rear, they can put their feet up and basically chill out and get onto that hotel before getting a nice massage. But what about the actual cars then for the races? Well, Team Sky, they've got two Ford Mondeo STs. So basically both of them identical. So you can put nine bikes on top of the car and also five spare wheels on the rack there too at the back. Also on the rack, we've got ourselves an antenna. So obviously they can watch a race inside of the car or certainly the assistant director and mechanic in the rear can. And then naturally on the front too, we've got aerials for communication, both from the race and also within the team and organization itself. But let's actually take a look in the boot of the car because I can already see it's pretty rammed full of stuff even though it's a rest day. Right, luckily that one opened up nice and easy. Uh, we can see here already, these are basically spare kits for each and every rider. So everything you can imagine a rider will need for a stage and the worst case scenario is inside one of these and you can even i'm not going to do it because i'm not very good at zipping things back together but a rider generally they know what the weather's going to be like for that stage so they can zip off a whole piece of the bag hand it into the mechanic the mechanic basically only has a small little one there to work from instead of having to have a whole bag to rummage through instead they know that inside this little bit here it's easy to get to rather than going through there but inside there like i say you've got jackets jerseys shorts shoes you name it it's inside of it then we've got a cool box naturally full of spare drinks you know recovery things that kind of thing or a box here full of gels bars you, know, you can't get enough can you and then something I've just noticed, I've never, ever, ever seen this in the back of a car before. Two plugs plus USBs as well. Um, so there's actually a fuse box down there. It's obviously got an inverter in there. I'm not an electrician, by the way, but that is a real smart bit of kit. I could do with one of those in the back of my car. So I'm in the hot seat, or what I think is the hot seat anyway, because this is where the mechanic sits for the day. Now the mechanic is actually working at the moment on the bikes, so his toolkit that we will take with him during the race is not here sadly, and neither are the spare wheels. But there are still some goodies and gadgets in here. So for instance, if I reach back, we've got just a few gubbins basically, this is what I call these. So it's just different spare bolts, washers, uh, dropout hangers, that kind of thing, cleat bolts. Basically those little bits that you always need but can't find. Right, we've got spare musette, maybe to hand something out to a rider, some energy bars, that kind of thing. We've got ourselves a torque wrench, more gels and energy bars. Again, you can never get enough of those. You can't leave a rider starving out on the road after all. Uh, a mount here, I think this is for an iPad, and also a USB charging station here, so yeah, you can link up something. We've got speakers everywhere for race radios, that sort of thing. And as ever, a little monitor here, so a mechanic can still see race footage, which is really ultra important for them to know what is going on. Uh, we've got this the trusty Garibaldi, or Garibaldi, I think we do call it in Italian, not that sure, but yeah, this is the Bible for the race. So everything you need to know about the race is inside of this, believe me. Then we've got markers and highlighters so the mechanic can make any notes as they're going along. Inside of the door pockets, importantly, some that water displacer, that kind of thing, so MO94 from Muckoff, as well as some chain loop and this, the trusty mechanics rag. You can never beat a trusty rag, yeah? But this is the hot seat, definitely. I'd love to be in this. So finishing off in the seat of the sports director, or sometimes the assistant sports director, they do swap around their positions from time to time. So essentially, we've got ourselves a screen here for them to be able to watch the race, as well as speakers for the race radio. And I quite like this, it's a little mount up here, 
for a GPS device, so such as a Garmin or a Wahoo, that kind of thing. So actually they can pre-program in a race route and it alert them to certain things along the way. That's a nice little finishing touch. And how are they gonna get alerted? Well, of course, via these, the two-way radios, basically. So one for the team and one for the staff. So easily distinguishable by color. And then they just simply magnetically mount there in place. And of course, wired up to different types of radios, bottles, pens, gels, bars, sun cream, chamois cream, you name it, they've got it in the front of this car. It's quite comfy too. I could get used to this. Come on guys, all to the front, all to the front, attack, attack, or something like that. I'm now inside one of the very useful multi-use vehicles that Team Sky do have. So this section of this essentially huge truck basically houses these two ginormous glass fronted fridges that are full of things like there's blueberries in there, there's olives, there's ketchup, there's some mayonnaise in there, we've got cheese, spread cheese, tomatoes, all sorts of things, fruit, rice, uh, we've got juices, yogurts, Actimel. I'm absolutely gobsmacked by the sheer amount of food in here. If ever you're hungry, just head here. You're gonna get basically enough to cook you a really, really nice meal. And this is what the chef uses in his own mobile cooking unit just around the corner. Now, this compartment I'm stood in of this multi-use vehicle houses, what, six different washing machines, stroke dryers, I presume. Why would they need that many? Well, they've actually got more than six. On this race, they've got 10, because in the team bus, there's another two, and in the mechanics truck, there's another two also. So there we are, but why so many? Well, just now, I bumped into Dave Brailsford of Team Sky, and he told me the reason why. Basically, saddle sores and anything like that can transfer from one person to another if you're washing them in the same machine. So basically, to prevent wiping out the whole team with an infection, wash them separately, and hopefully that will eradicate any problems that the team may have. There's also enough room in here to dry off the kit. And my personal favorite touch about all of this, because I love a gadget, is the fact that these washing machines have Wi-Fi on them. So basically, it can uh, it's not even the washing machine, this is the dryer, in fact. It can let the helpers of the team know when to come and unload them. Brilliant. And then the final section of this huge truck is this. Basically it's storage in there, so we've got energy bars, gels, powders, everything that you need to fuel a rider during a Grand Tour, as well as hundreds of water bottles, because you'll be amazed at how many bottles they get through during a Grand Tour. Now this is the mechanics home, so basically the sides of this vehicle actually extend out, allowing the mechanics to have loads of room to be able to work around the bikes, which do require a fair amount of space when you've got that amount of kit with you on a Grand Tour. There's also a dehumidifier in there as well, so that basically the bikes can dry off in super quick time. And there's one final thing for us to go and take a look at. Now the final vehicle I must just give a big shout out to is this, and this is the kitchen truck of Team Sky. So in the front section here, the chef, they've got themselves a very well equipped kitchen. I'm not gonna disturb them because they are cooking away in there. It does smell pretty good. And then in the back, there's actually like a dining room section where all the riders, they can congregate, eat their meal with one another, and basically have a bit of a debrief of the stage, see how one another is feeling, chill out in there too, yeah. I think it's an absolutely great idea. Now, it's been so insightful to get a look into all of these vehicles from Team Sky, and I hope it's been nice for you too. Leave your comments down there in the section below. Let me know, actually, which is your favorite vehicle of the whole team. Now, do remember as well to like and share this video with your friends, and don't forget to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. We've got loads and loads of goodies for you, and for another great video from the Giro d'Italia, click just down here.